we want to solve the equation 1 half y plus 7 equals 1 eighth y. The solution is the value of y that makes the expression on the left equal to the expression on the right. In order to solve the equation for y, we need to isolate y on one side of the equation. And notice right now there are y terms on both sides of the equation. Also notice how the equation contains fractions. So to begin, we need to decide whether we want to solve the equation with the fractions in it or eliminate the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. In this video, we'll be solving the equation by leaving the fractions in the equation. So we want to solve the equation 1 half y plus 7 equals 1 eighth y. Again, if our goal is to isolate y on one side of the equation, we don't want y terms on both sides of the equation, which means we need to eliminate the 1 half y on the left side of the equation or eliminate the 1 eighth y on the right side of the equation. Most prefer to have the variables on the left side of the equation, so let's undo this 1 eighth y by subtracting 1 eighth y on both sides of the equation. Notice subtracting 1 eighth y will undo the positive 1 eighth y. And whatever operation we perform to one side of the equation, we must perform on the other side to maintain equality. And now let's simplify both sides of the equation. On the left side of the equation, we do not have a common denominator yet, so we cannot subtract the y terms yet. Let's just write this as 1 half y minus 1 eighth y. And we still have plus 7. On the right side, we have 1 eighth y minus 1 eighth y, which equals 0. Now let's work on combining the y terms on the left side of the equation. We know to find this difference, we must have a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator, which would be the least common multiple of 2 and 8, which is 8. And since 8 is the least common denominator, we need to write 1 half as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 8, and therefore we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by 4. 1 half is equivalent to 4 eighths, so we can write 1 half y as 4 eighths y. So now we have 4 eighths y minus 1 eighth y plus 7 equals 0. And 4 eighths y minus 1 eighth y would be 3 eighths y. So we have 3 eighths y plus 7 equals 0. The next step is to isolate the y term by adding or subtracting. And therefore, to undo plus 7, the next step will be to subtract 7 on both sides of the equation. Subtracting 7 undoes the plus 7, or 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. And therefore, now we have the equation 3 eighths y equals 0 minus 7 equals negative 7. So now we have the equation 3 eighths y equals negative 7. The last step is to multiply or divide to isolate y and solve the equation. And because 3 eighths y means 3 eighths times y, we're probably thinking we should divide both sides by 3 eighths, which is correct. But instead of dividing by a fraction, we almost always multiply by the reciprocal. And therefore, instead of dividing both sides by 3 eighths, we'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 3 eighths. And therefore, we'll multiply both sides by 8 thirds. Multiply the left side by 8 thirds and the right side by 8 thirds. So here we have the product of two reciprocals, which equals 1. 1 times y is y, where we can show the simplifying. 8 over 8 simplifies to 1 over 1, and so does 3 over 3. Either way, we have 1y or y. On the right side, we have 8 thirds times negative 7. If it's helpful, negative 7 as a fraction would have a denominator of 1. Nothing simplifies, so we multiply the numerators and denominators. 8 times negative 7 is negative 56, and 3 times 1 is 3. Our solution is y equals negative 56 thirds. And this is in simplest form because the only common factor between 56 and 3 is 1. But before we go, let's verify our solution is correct by substituting negative 56 thirds for y in the original equation to make sure the left side of the equation equals the right side. Forming the substitution, we would have 1 half times y, which is negative 56 thirds, plus 7 equals 1 eighth times y, which is 
negative 56 thirds. Let's evaluate both sides of the equation on the calculator. So on the left we have 1 half times negative 56 thirds plus 7. Enter. To convert the decimal to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter. So we have negative 7 thirds on the left side of the equation. And now let's verify the right side is also equal to negative 7 thirds. We'd have 1 eighth times negative 56 thirds. Enter. Notice how we get the same decimal value, which of course will be the same fraction value, negative 7 thirds. This verifies our solution is correct. Again, the left side of the equation equals negative 7 thirds, and so does the right, verifying our solution is correct. We'll solve this equation again in the next video by first eliminating the fractions from the equation, and we'll see we will get the same solution. I hope you found this helpful.